What is your body count? <laughs> I actually knew this was coming as well, you know. Oh my days. All right, cool. So the, the, the honest answer is I don't know, innit? Would you say it's over 50? <laughs> I look forward to seeing if the person I date today will be willing to wait. Sex is non-negotiable until the day of marriage. They gotta be fire. They gotta be sexy. That's the first thing, so I have to be attracted to you at the start. In this day and age, a lot of people build relationships off lust. I want the person to know me for who I am rather than what's down my pants. I don't judge no women that um, sleep with me on the first date. It's not, I don't blame them. <laughs> Let's date. Jeez, my date for the day. Hello. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hello. That, that was a good start, that. <laughs> Sorry about that. How are you? I'm well, man. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank mm. you. Maggie, you look nice today, Maggie. I love your hair. Oh, thank you. You look mm. nice as well. <laughs> do you want to start? Yeah. Ladies first, I reckon. Okay. So, do you believe women and men are equal in relationships? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. How do you mean, though? Like... So, like, do we have equal roles? For me, I feel like men can do it all and women can do it all. I'm easy, you know, if it just so happens that she's got an amazing high paying job yeah. and I'm off work and I have to raise the kids, then so, then so be it. You know, I don't really believe in um, gender norms or, or whatever. I just believe people are flat out equal. But yeah, man, what about you? Um, I feel like, um, no, they're not equal. Mm. I feel like in general, there's certain abilities that a woman can do. For example, like a mother's instincts are to nurture. Do you mm. get what I mean? Mm. The um, maternal instincts for real. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I so that, and I feel like so there's I feel like there's certain roles that fathers play, women play, and I feel like you cannot change that, if that makes mm. sense. So I feel like, yeah, it's not equal roles. Like to me, personally, as I said, um, I, would, I would prefer my man to be the one that provides. I don't mind providing. I feel like as the woman I have to submit to the man because you have to submit. I feel like I have to submit. But that have to is also willing. Yeah, it's yeah, that's because what I'm I love willing him to. and yeah, because yeah, I respect I that, you, I despite what I want, mm. I'm still go with with, mm. with with you. The willingness is the bit I'm, I agree with you. I just don't think we have to, or you have to, or you should feel that you have to. It's more of like if you're happy to, but you know, obviously, again, me naturally, like I'm an alpha, so like if I walk in a room, people know it, boys know it, ladies know it, it's one of them ones. So naturally. I assert myself anyway, so I think the dynamic in a relationship would kind of naturally form like that. But I just don't have that expectation. I don't think, oh, I have to because I'm the man. But but obviously, if that's the way it is, then that's the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Okay, mm. I understand that. So, do you watch porn? <laughs> what do you think the answer is? My gut reaction would have been no, but I actually believe I, I believe that you probably do. Actually, I believe that you do. So. I used to. Okay. Right, I used to, um, I don't anymore. Mm. Reason being, I feel like it's damaging. I feel like spiritually and, and psychologically it's damaging. Um, clearly you agree. Definitely, for so, sure. So, when I think of porn, I don't see the point of it. It's like movies. Mm. It builds a false reality um, and false expectations that can never be met. Mm. Like, we don't see the, the, the many takes people take and things mm. like that. And even when it came to porn, like, I'm, I'm straight, but why am I watching lesbian porn? Mm. Oh, what? So you, when you were watching porn, you weren't watching? I was watching lesbian porn, so it's like, it doesn't, like, it, it, like, it's like, it, like, the whole context of it doesn't make sense. Why were you only watching, like, girl, uh, girl and girl? I don't know. Like, I was introduced to porn because I feel like I was just left out. Mm. So my friends were like, you need to do it, you need to watch it, watch it, watch it. So I was like, okay. You ain't missing out for sure, you ain't missing out. Like, I wasn't right? missing out, <laughs> yeah, first missing of all. Out. Like, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's this fake hype that you're missing uh, out on all this sexual stuff that like, you're not really missing out on. Like, mm. life is much more than that. Mm. How about you? Do you watch porn? I'm actually quitting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm quitting because everything you said, I completely agree with in it in terms of like the psychological damage, yeah. especially to men. Like, because boys watch it young. I used to watch like, um, amateur. That was the category. The cartoons? No, 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 no. That's, that's anime. That's true. anime. That's anime. That's like, yeah, the cartoon. No, no, no. As in amateurs, like real people, innit? How do you feel like it's, it's psychologically damaged you? Oh, wow. So, there was a period, yeah, a couple of years ago where it was affecting my performance in the bedroom, innit? It, oh, it, it was, it was, it was part, it was part, it was like part, it was a factor, it was a factor. Um, so just to, just to be sure, like, so it's like it kind of it, it took like because of watching porn, you found it hard to be aroused in, in real life. In real life, like, oh, wow. like after a while, because it was kind of like I don't know, it's just maybe because you've seen it, like you can. No, it's, easy. it's the fake reality. It's the fake reality. Like it's easy to watch porn, get excited, bust your nut or whatever, be disgusted with yourself, and move on with your day. But it's just like when now now the real things in front of you, it's kind of like uh, it's not like, hitting the same. It's just not the same, and I, and I, I do feel like if you do remove yourself from watching porn, like you that will eventually kind of. It'll come back, and it, it did. So my next question is, what is your body count? 
<laughs> I actually knew this was coming as well, you know. Oh my days. All right, cool. So the, the, the honest answer is I don't know, innit? Yeah. What do you mean you don't know? I, I don't know how to explain that, elaborate anymore. I literally don't know, innit? Like, um, like, one, I'm 26 years old. What does that mean? Oh, my age, obviously. Well, I'm about, to, I'm about to explain. So, obviously, I'm 26. I've been sexually active since way younger than I ever should have been, to be, to be honest. And, um, yeah, I think when I broke up with my ex four years ago, four and a half years ago, I was extremely toxic. I was, ext I was in a very, like... Promiscuous stage? Not necessarily promiscuous. It was just, it was just like, I really... I wasn't all there in it. I've really had to grow. I've had to grow a lot. And I, I'll be honest with you, I regret... <clears throat> I don't even remember all the all of them. Like it's all it's just, it's just it's part of a past life, and that's being very very real. It's part of a past life that I don't really care to think about anymore. Um, I've grown out of that stage, but I, that's the genuine answer. I don't know, and it's it's far too high. Um, it's it's far too high. Would you I, say it's over fifty? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Just messy nights that just blurred into one. But now I've grown up. Um, and I'm glad, you know what, I'm grateful that I've gotten out of that stage because I do, I do believe that a lot of men or a lot of people do need a bit of a whole stage just, just because, or even women as well, I feel, just, just because when they get into a relationship, they might have felt like they missed out. I don't feel like I've missed out. I'm done. I'm literally done. So the person I, I'm with next, I'm going to settle with, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So that's what I'm looking forward to. But yeah, what about yours then? What's your body count? Zero. Zero? Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. So, you're, so you're, are you saving yourself for marriage? Yeah. Okay. What, what's your thoughts on that? I respect it. Yeah. I Would mean, you be willing to wait? Me personally, probably not, um, if, I'm, if I'm being honest, because... But you said you're not missing out, but you're not willing to wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah because it's not, it's not about... It's, 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 they're, too, they're too extremes. It's, like, it's a spectrum. Like, I don't... To be fair, if I'm going to have a partner, I would prefer them to probably have a bit more experience. Um, <laughs> just so I don't have to like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have to maybe Experience teach. sexually? Yeah, yeah. For me personally, that wouldn't be ideal, really and truly. Okay, but you can also find somebody that's, that's experienced it but isn't good. You can. You can. To me, the fact that you have sex a lot, it shows you don't really value it because if you valued it, you wouldn't have it with but just what, anybody. But what about, because I enjoy having sex, that's why I have it a lot. What about that side of things? I don't know. I just feel like if you value something, you don't have it as frequent. Yeah. If that makes sense. I know, I get, I get that. I get that. I mean, I, I value certain foods like steak. I don't have that all the time. So I'll have that now and then. But, but the more you have steak, the less you'll value it. Yeah, no, that's, or I might get, I might get like, what do you call it? Not complacent. Um, you might lose appreciation of it. But I don't know, sex is a bit different, you know. Um, sex isn't a steak, do you know what I'm saying? I think it's a, it's a bit different. Obviously, sex is different with different people as well. Very different experiences. So what's your non-sexual turn-ons? My non-sexual turn-ons, being a Christian, is mm. a man that's prayed for. What are you prayed for? Yes or no? Because it's either yes or no. I used to be very, very religious in it, okay. and I don't, I don't, and I've, I've my, my religion, my spirituality has kind of changed. But okay. I do believe in God. Okay. Um, it, it's just a bit, it's a bit more complex. But I do, I do, I do, I do, I do pray. I do so pray. you pray in your own way, basically. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So you do. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So my non-sexual turn on is the guy that's prayerful because I feel like in in general in life we go through a lot, mm. and I feel like when I come to you with a problem, I feel like the first thing as a man I want to do, as I said, like is to also provide a solution, do you get what mm. I mean? So let's pray about it. I don't want to come to you with a solution, it's like you're just talking a lot. Like let's first just give this to God and da 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 Another sexual turn on is just a, a, a man that's gentle, mm. do you get it? Mm. You're gentle spirited, you're just you're just gentle at heart. Mm. That's a non-sexual turn on for me, those are mm. my non-two sexual turn ons. How about you? For me, someone who's ambitious. Um, okay. I really, really, I'm attracted to someone who, like a woman who's got a dream, a vision, um, something whether it's a business idea or just somewhere where she wants to get to in life. I think that's for me. That's a, a very like an attractive quality. That's like a yeah. It's like a damn. You know, yeah, she, yeah, she's yeah. a boss. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's a boss. I just wanted to ask you one last question. Do you Please. think there is going to be a second date? <sighs> you know what? Yeah, I think we've got different um, core values. 
I believe. Yeah. Um, and just in terms of like the religion side of things and the, the sex and things like that, couple gender norms. You would make a good friend. Mm, yeah, no, I hear that. To be fair, no, I, I rate that. I, I like that. But, um, but yeah, like. Like nah. even even this didn't even feel like a date. Like, yeah, I, there it was actually no felt like, like, like a nice. It just felt like a conversation. A conversation. Still, yeah. Like I feel like we're very much. Different. Yeah, yeah, very different. But I, I think there's certain similarities, but I, yeah, a bit, bit you different. Think? Yeah, like just the, some of the things that you were, yeah, some of the things you were saying, I latched onto. But um, in terms of like romantically, then it's, it's, it's yeah, calm. There's it's nothing. Calm, it's calm. Yeah. Good friend. Calm. Good friend, man. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> she was cool, man. She was good vibes. Um, she was pissing me off a little bit with her facial expressions, were jarring me. But other than that, like, uh, other than that, she's yeah, she was cool, man. We, she, she seemed like she does seem like she had good band, like she'd be a good like laugh. Like, if I was to be honest, it did not feel like a date at all. I felt like I was having a conversation with somebody I've met at the bus stop. There wasn't much like romantic, I suppose, like um, chemistry. I feel for a person that values sex in a relationship, you have it quite frequently. Sex is of value to me, and that's exactly why I don't have it. Does that make sense? It was interesting to hear some of her opinions, actually, to hear like what she, where her mindset's at, especially at, at 21 as well. I don't feel sad for him. I just feel sad on our society. That that's how we view sex. Something so precious that between two people has become so... It's nothing that I don't remember who I slept with. I actually did go to a BDSM club Good. once and it was the most horrific experience Aww. ever. I just ended up hanging out by the buffet the entire <laughs> night. I'm eating chicken and yeah. then I look to my left, somebody's getting a <laughs> by the chicken. 